YouTube. Welcome to this Ghost in the Shell movie review. Now, I know it's a bit late, but I have been super busy. I've not been able to actually make it to the cinema to check out this flick, sadly. But I know I'm a bit late. Whatever. Who cares? So if you're new to the channel, please do click that subscribe. And also, if you're already subscribed, please do drop that notification as well. Ring that bell and drop a like as well. Because why not? Let's let's hit for 50 likes on this video. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm reaching for the stars. But whatever. This is Ghost in the Shell. Now, Ghost in the Shell isn't something which I have really been excited about. I've been excited to watch the movie because the trailer looked absolutely fantastic. So, I have watched the anime many, many years ago, back when it really was a huge thing, kind of. So, I remember back then, in like the late 90s, anime being sort of something in the West, which was really, really hard to get hold of. So, I managed to get this on DVD and check it out. And I can't really remember it that much. And I elected not to re-watch Ghost in the Shell before I went to see the film because I wanted to watch the film on its own merits. So this review is more going to be about the film, not it being an adaptation. So I'm not going to criticise it for not adapting the whole anime over because I confess I don't have all of that knowledge, to be honest, on just how much how accurate this is. Now, the movie has been mired in controversy due to whitewashing. And whitewashing is, if you don't know what it means, it is where you cast white actors instead of Asian, black, whatever. I don't know why this really is a problem here, in my opinion. In what I think, I haven't seen the film the Great War. So that's got Matt Damon in it, and he's fighting alongside all these Chinese troops. And personally, I think that is miles, but just way worse than what they've done here in Ghost in the Shell. A lot of people have said that, well, the creator didn't want it to be a specific look or race. Also, with Iron Fist, there was that just absolutely hated, slated for whitewashing when Danny Rand was always white. So I expect this debate to not go away whatsoever. I don't expect this debate to stop. I expect it, if anything, to become a lot bigger. But I don't think that this has affected the movie. I think Scarlett Johansson did a passable job being in this movie. I haven't seen Lucy, but she is an action queen in that, so I've heard. So this is the closest thing we may even get to a Black Widow movie, which I really, really want, and I think would do pretty well, to be honest. But here in Ghost in the Shell, the look of this, the aesthetics, the shots, the costumes, the colorization, it all looks amazing. And I think the way she drops into the fight, like you saw in the trailer, the battle at the end, I think it looked stunning. The CGI was absolutely, in my opinion, flawless here. I think it just looked amazing. It looked stunning. Uh, well, that's where it peaked. Now, the movie was very dull. I found myself not enjoying it all that much. Not because it was a bad film. Not because of that one bit. The story was okay, but it was just dull. I didn't really have much reason to invest in these characters. Maybe if I'd rewatched the anime, if I'd been a huge Ghost in the Shell fan, watched Standalone Complex and watched, I think it's Arise as well. If I'd watched those before going into the movie, maybe I'd be more attached to these characters. But I didn't really care if any of them lived or died sadly, because I didn't know anything about them. We walk into this movie, they have a meeting, and we just don't really care about any of them. I don't know about the head of, I think it was Section 9 in the movie. I didn't know about Bato. I didn't know his backstory. I just did not know anything about these characters apart from our ghost. So 
There is that. I just, I felt no empathy. Which then again, doesn't make me care about the story progressing or what happens to these characters. And there was just zero characterization, which again, made the film boring. It could have been a lot, lot better. Maybe there's a hell of a lot more deleted scenes that will give us more insight to these characters. But as a whole, I just left thinking, well, uh, just to me, the whole movie just felt more like a shrug. It's like, okay, yeah, whatever. One thing that was very nice was seeing the antagonist of the film. It was cool seeing him. So that is kind of a merge of the puppet master and another character I heard as well. So there is that for the fans. And it was the dude from Boardwalk Empire as well, who sadly died quite early on in that show's lifespan, which when I about when I stopped watching. But it was cool seeing him. I thought he did a very good job playing the robotic villain of, well, villain, because really the whole villain is capitalism, isn't it, of course? Because everyone seems to hate capitalism, but this is why your movies are made. So there you go, whatever. But the film just felt nothing which is sort of worse than it being a shit film. It just felt like absolutely no redeeming features. I mean, we see Bato feeding some dogs, and I'm like, well, okay, does he, is he nice? Is he a, supposed to be a nice guy? Am I supposed to like him? Uh, like, whatever. If they had flashbacks of the villain and also our heroine's lives, then maybe we would have actually cared one bit. But as a whole, it just felt like a complete and utter misstep. It felt like those remakes that are made in these futuristic worlds like Total Recall, where, and also Robocop, where it just felt like nothing, really. It just felt just completely indifferent towards the movie. The action was very good, but there was like barely any action in my eyes. And, well, just a complete letdown, because like I said, I was excited for the movie based on the trailer, but it seemed like it was all fur coat and no knickers here. I mean, we had characters in this team. We didn't even, there was one chick who had an English accent, a like proper British accent. I was like, oh, I can't know about her. Okay, she's in one frame. And that's it. We didn't learn about this team. It should have been about this team working together and then chasing. But I won't give you any spoilers. So that's it for this video. Very let down. Very disappointed, sadly. But they left it open. So I'll see you soon. Drop that like. Drop that subscribe. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.